Hello, my name is Howard and welcome back to IT Security Labs. Today we are doing day 19 of Advent of the Cyber. This is 19 out of 25. And we're talking about phishing emails, reviewing some phishing emails. And this tells you exactly what e phishing emails are. But I'm going to jump straight to the task because I have already read all this. But who was sent the email to? So if you launch, start the machine, you can go to the machine itself that you have started and you see that we have an email icon here but we also have um, email artifacts and in the email artifacts we have attachments 64 uh, base 64 encoded attachment and email.eml so i'll just open that it opens in in outlook so first task says who was the email sent to answer his email address okay so from to so the email was sent to this person here if you're not familiar with phishing phishing emails are what happens when attackers are trying to target people in an organization and send them enticing emails in order to try to trick them into believing something or clicking something or just social engineer them so phishing emails use similar domain of the targets to increase the likelihood of the recipient will be tricked into interacting with the email who does it say the email was from? Okay. Who does it say the email was from? So we're going to take it. It said the email was from this person here. All right. Sometimes phishing emails have a different reply to email address. If the email was replied to, what email address will the email address respond to? Let's go back. Reply to Fisher. That's the one that it would re re reply to. All right, so we're interacting with email headers here. Less sophisticated phishing emails will have typos. What is the misspelled word? Straight off. <laughs> I think this is it. They say straight. It was supposed to be straight. The email contains a link that will redirect the restraint fraudulent website in an effort to collect credentials. What is the link to the creden credential harvesting website? Well, it doesn't seem to tell me, so let me just click on that. Oh, there you go. This is the credential harvesting website right here. All right. View the email source code. There is an unusual email header. What is header? and its value. According to our instructions, if we click more, view source code. Okay, so looking in the source here, look at this one. In the subject, says Xgrinch fish. That's the interesting header. I spent some time looking at through all this stuff. I couldn't find, I even decoded some of this. It wasn't, it's this right here. Xgrinch fish which is interesting. There's a user agreement and privacy policy update, acceptance required, and this is this is it. All right, then on to the next to last question. You received other reports of phishing attempts from other colleagues. Some of the other emails contained attachment. Open the attachment to text. What is the name of the attachment? So going back to here, attachment to text is right here. Content type, okay, so here's a, it's a PDF file. The name is this one. Password research instructions dot PDF. Okay, what is the flag in the PDF file? Okay, we gotta find the flag in the PDF file and we'll be done. Okay, so looking at our instructions here, we can cut the attachment or we can actually decode the attachment if it's in base 64 and we just need to make sure that we're in the right directory. So let's go back. Okay, so where is this? This is on the desktop and it's in the email artifacts. Let's go to desktop, email artifacts. All right, so we have attachment base 64 only, attachment to text, and then email. This is asking, what is the flag in the PDF file? So we're going to use the instructions here. I'm just going to cut the base64 only. 
because I'm assuming that's where it is. So now we have filed a PDF in here. So let's open that. And if you open, there is our flag. So that was how we converted the PDF to give us the flag. And we have completed day 18. So if you like this, please make sure to like and subscribe. I really want to get to 30,000 subscribers. So if you can subscribe, please help me with that. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Thank you.